students welcome back to class welcome back to class welcome back to class don't be a pain in the ass be vegan yeah be vegan from now on be vegan everybody you're gonna have a vegan world one day you're gonna look back on what you're doing today and you're gonna say to yourself hey i did okay I am vegan right now and you're going to be proud of yourself because you're going to look back and you're going to say I was vegan in 2021. I pioneered this path. So people like Teacher Eddie who presented today, uh, came to class and presented a little oral presentation. Uh, unfortunately, he's not vegan yet. Uh, but you know, he's talking about, about veganism. He, he mentioned the word. So today for our grading, it's basically going to be me against Teacher Eddie. We're going to see who you know, who gets the most points. So, um, you know, I'm going to try to be as fair as possible. And you guys in the comments below can tell me if you don't think that my scoring is fair. You can also make your own score sheet. So what we do is this. I wrote my name there, that vegan teacher, Miss Katie, and teacher Eddie. So we're going to go and have a look at this uh, rap that he wrote for me. And oh, before I begin, I want to remind you guys that uh, I am now using a vegan marker. I didn't realize that my marker wasn't vegan. It's a long story. Um, I was using the Crayola brand and it said on their thing, uh, not tested on animals, but I didn't look further. And it turns out that there, there may be some animal product in there. So anyway, um, thank you to call me Chris who pointed that out. Oh God, this hair. And um, so I thank you for, to call me Chris who pointed that out. And I then Googled vegan markers and I got this one. So if you want a vegan marker, this is one that I'm using right now. Oh, it's a bit out of focus, focus there, but it's called a pit artist pen. All right. So thank you. You know, we're all in the school of life here. We're always learning. Vegans are not perfect. It's impossible to be fully vegan in a non-vegan world, but we're always trying. And that's the most important thing is that every day you make decisions with your money, and with your actions to do the best you can for animals. All right, so uh, I'm gonna take this out here. So I kept the little package, I don't know why, I just feel like, I guess it's because I wanna show you guys in case you wanna buy one of these. Um, so let's have a look at this. So first of all, I wanna give him a, a check mark for writing vegan beef because there's all kinds of vegan, uh, different types of vegan meats. So let's give teacher Eddie a check mark right off the bat for good work. You got one check mark for mentioning the word vegan beef because vegan, have all kinds of different meats, and so that is just one of them. So great. All right, so um, let's uh, let's have a look at this and see what this is all about. We'll see if, if we like this, if he's talking about saving animals, if he's talking about murdering animals, like is he mentioning that, you know, he should be a good guy and stop, stop paying to hurt them? You know, how, how, how has he learned anything yet? So let's have a look. Stop the hate, but you a coward. All right, let's go to the beginning here. Hold on. Um, okay, i turn this up a little bit, turn up my own volume here because I'm still trying to get myself organized. All right. All right, here we go. Okay, it starts off, why was that vegan teacher banned? Why was that vegan teacher banned TikTok? Why was that teacher vegan teacher banned? Why was that vegan teacher banned TikTok? I don't know, that's a weird, there seems like there's a word missing in your sentence there. So, um... Or I don't know, what kind of, um, you know, if you want to know if something is a reputable article that's being written truthfully, one of the little clues that you can use is to see if their grammar is, is correct. So if they write, why was that vegan teacher banned? Is there no word from here? I mean, I'm just going to shrink this to see if it's maybe just me. No, it seems like it's, it's just wit written that way. That's odd, isn't it? Anyway, so yeah, I think, you know, unfortunately, uh, Eddie, if you're going to show something on screen, you're going to put it in your video, you're going to have to try to use um, uh, a better source because that, that just seems weird. Just because something is trending, what is this? What does it say on here? Perna Numbiar. I don't know. I don't know where you got this from. Anyway, just because something is trending doesn't mean it's necessarily the truth. You have to look at the source of where the thing comes from. So, um, but anyway, you're talking about, you're talking about veganism, I guess. You're talking about me and why I was banned from TikTok, which was a while ago, by the way. And I want to remind everybody, um, anytime something bad happens to you in life, always remember something good is going to happen later. You know, I was banned from TikTok because I was talking about saving the animals and many people didn't like that. They didn't like the fact that I was, you know, targeting all these different groups. Like I would target women and say, women, all you mothers, you should be vegan. How can you... Um, 
know that this, this rape goes on towards these females, the cows and the pigs and, and all these other animals. How can you do that if you are a feminist? So I attacked the women and then I attacked the men. I said, men, you are the defenders of society. You're by tradition, let's say, and you know, your, your instinct is to protect the most vulnerable. So why aren't you all vegan? So I called out every, every person with no matter what their skin color. I called out white people. I called out dark skinned people. I called out uh, grandparents, anyone. I called out teachers, I called out doctors, I called out lawyers, I called out anyone at all for not being vegan because everybody should be vegan. So um, that's what happened. And they didn't like that because I made everyone feel guilty. And the reason I did that is not because I'm just a bitch and want to make everyone feel guilty for no reason. It's because I knew that in order to disrupt society to get some sort of social change, you have to get attention to yourself. You have to do something a little bit crazy. I mean, I was on Facebook for, for years just saying, hey guys, you should all be vegan. You know, hey, these animals are suffering. And even people are like, yeah, yeah, whatever. So we've on next. <laughs> and you know, it didn't work. So I, when I went on TikTok, I had to be a little bit wild. So I was putting all these hashtags of, of, of different Minecraft people. I didn't even know what these games are, but just to try to get attention of teenage boys and girls and, and, and just to, to make sure that those young people would get my message. And uh, you know, they did, I, they got my message. So that was great. Yeah, I was a bit sad when I got kicked off of TikTok because I, I love that little platform, but I'm learning here and it's, it's always something good happens. So if you're ever crying, when you, a door gets slammed in your face, always remember this, there will always be a window somewhere or another door, something will happen. Just hang in there, sometimes you gotta wait. And here today I am with 100,000 followers over here on YouTube and I, I thank you all so much for those of you who are supporting my message and for all of you haters who are still hanging out here, thank you to you too, because you are still just have a little bit of a window open of, of your mind, you're trying to open your heart, it takes 100 clicks until you become vegan and I'm so glad that you are here. And Teacher Eddie seems to be here too. You know, he, he could just stop talking about me, but he, he keeps talking about me. He, he wants to engage. Um, I know, honestly, I know that the guy, I, I'm sure that, I'm sure he's, he's like not a, not a bad guy in real life. I, 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 like if I met him on the street, I'd barbecue or something. I'd probably like, hey, how's it going? And we'd probably just have like a normal chat. Like, a, I don't think he's a, like a terrible person. I just had to call him out because, um, and he said that, you know, he, he wanted to keep paying for the, the torture of these animals. He didn't give a fuck. So I don't, I don't know what to think about him. I mean, I'm telling you here on the one hand that I think he's not a bad guy. And then, but on the other hand, like, shit, who can, who does that? Who finds out about what's going on in the industry? And then just says, yeah, I don't care. Like, it's, anyway. anyway, let's have a look at, at what's going on here. What's up, vegan teacher? It's teacher ready. I hope you packed that vegan lunch today because I'm about to take you to school. You want to keep on doing them diss tracks without facing me with want to keep doing those diss tracks. I've never did a diss track about you. What are you talking about? Diss track. Isn't that like when you, you rap something, isn't that the definition? Okay. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm going to give you an X for that. Okay. Don't lie. I don't want to do something without facing you. I, I'm right here. I told you I don't have time. I refuse to debate anyone who's not educated yet. Once you have all of the information, you know everything that's going on and you have an actual show me that you have an open heart, a willingness to actually discuss, I will talk to you. I'll talk to anybody. But you've literally said you don't care. It's like saying, you know, I know that cats and dogs are dying. I know that people are killing them and ripping off their necks and everything else, but you know, I don't, I don't really care. That's you. So I found that word weird, but you know, let's have it. Let's keep listening that replying to any of my arguments not replying to any of your arguments i i literally wrote to you and said watch these Domin watch these documentaries and i mentioned a whole bunch of them remember dominion movement earthlings okay those are replies to your arguments those are actually showing you undercover footage of what's going on cowspiracy seaspiracy mm. you're lying again get another x you just want to keep on keeping on well since you love writing tunes and ditty oh yeah this was interesting um 20, 20 000 people signed to have me removed from tiktok if you actually read that petition it is so full of lies i would have signed it if i if i thought that this person was was doing these things it, you got to be really careful guys when you sign petitions you know you have to really make sure that they're actually telling the truth but anyway i just it, it, we live in a crazy time it's a crazy world so much i figure i'll give it a shot too oh thank you for bringing this up look at that there i am 
singing outside of McDonald's, this little 15 second song. So, you know, that, I think that was a pretty good thing that I did, don't you? Trying to tell them to have a, a fully vegan menu. So I'm gonna give myself a check mark for that because I think that was pretty good that I did that. So what do we got here? Oh, we're tied with check marks, but you got a bunch of X's, Teacher Eddie. So yeah, I um, sang there with my little ukulele, a 15 second song, and it had, I think it was 25 million views, and so many people duetted that and, uh, on TikTok, and it was great. Because after that, McDonald's started offering even more vegan options. You know, they're, they're talking about it, they're trying to be more green, they're having these discussions. Are they vegan? No. Do I go there? Never. But, you know, it's not to say that, oh my god, this hair, I need a clip. Um, sorry. Um, <laughs> I see a clip over here. I don't think this is going to I see two clips over here, guys. Maybe like these. What do you think? Oh, this one matches my outfit. Hey, right, where we go. New style. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that. It's either that or this. Wait. This is my mother in law. This is how she sorts things. She cleans up the desk, so she finds this and she puts it in. This is pretty, pretty good, actually. All right, so wait, you guys, you guys are, are gonna, I guess, you guys can choose. Which one do you want? Which one should I wear in my hair? This one? <laughs> or this one? That's all I got, guys. Okay, how about this one? This one there? Is that gonna do it? Oh my god. All right, good enough. <laughs> all right, so let's keep going. <laughs> all right. Write you a little rap lyric here, there. Oh, yeah, write me a rap lyric. Okay, I like that. Took me about 10 minutes, hope. 10 minutes, that's all you could invest? Oh, come on. You can do better than that. You enjoy it, let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. Hello, students. Hello. Oh, look, he's put me on the screen here. Let's see what he's, what am I saying? All right, what, what is Miss Katie saying here? That was all, this is bringing back so many memories of being on TikTok. I just, you know, it was so fun being on there. These little quick little 60 second things. All right, so what did I have? I wrote here, friends, not food. Well, that's a good thing that I did that. Let's give me a check mark for that. Yeah, be kind to animals. So I'm talking about, so somebody said being vegan is too expensive. And I was explaining here, look, potatoes, oats, lentils, onions, carrots, rice, so many very nutritious foods are extremely cheap. Well, good job, that vegan teacher. Good job, Miss Katie. You get another check mark for that teaching. Good. All right. Let's see what vegan, um, this did, well, vegan, I was going to say vegan teacher Eddie. Well, one day he might be. Let's see what teacher Eddie is going to be teaching. Let's see what he's going to have to say that, to help protect the environment, the future generations from the eco footprint of animal agriculture. Let's see how that goes. Oh shoot, what happened? How many vegans? Oh my goodness. What's good, Modern Retro Show Oh my fans? God, I don't it's know what teacher happened. teacher ready. Oh my goodness, I went off in some big tangent. Hold on, let's see if we can get back. Where did he go? Ah, here it is. Yo, what's up, vegan teacher? Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Okay, we've been through this. Let's go forward a bit here. Um, did we do this? Okay, yeah, yeah, he talked about this. He started the rap. Okay, anyway. Oh shoot, now I'm muting it by mistake. Sorry about this, guys. You love writing tunes and ditty so much. Yeah. I figure I'll give it a shot too. Yeah. Write you a little rap lyric here. Yeah. There. Took yeah. me about 10 minutes. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Let's get started. Let's go. Hello, students. Time for class. Today's lesson Kicking Vegan Teacher Ass Way Vegan. Oh, kicking someone's ass. You want to kick my ass? Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to kick a woman? Oop. X. Why would you want to kick somebody who's trying to defend someone who's suffering? Wouldn't you want to kick somebody who is trying to hurt somebody? X. You can teach her. Nah. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, this brings back memories. Yeah, that was the weirdest thing. There was this a guy with dark skin who called me a nigger. I don't know why. And so I, so I just thought it was really strange. Stop calling 
animal defenders the n-word be as vegan as possible oh yeah yeah this was me du duetting him oh sorry i put that off the screen this was me duetting him so i found it really strange that he was doing this so let's look at that i'm call i'm telling him to to stop calling animal defenders the n-word because i just thought it was weird but anyway, all right, so what do I have here? Be as vegan as possible. And what am I mentioning here? Oh, look at that. I'm teaching people what kind of things they can eat. Tofu, rice, kale, spinach, chia seeds, and flax seeds. Don't forget to grind those because they'll be absorbed better. And don't grind a whole bunch in advance. Just do them kind of the day of or just before you eat them is best. Put them in smoothies. Figs, dates, lentils, peas, tempeh, broccoli, hummus, bread, potatoes, chickpeas, maple syrup, Indian spices, vegan pizza, vegan nachos, nutritional yeast, oats, nuts, soy milk, oat milk, vegan mayo, brown rice and pasta, black and kidney beans. Miss Katie! Wow! Good job! Check mark for you doing all that wonderful teaching. Yes. All right. Still waiting for um, teacher Ed to do some teaching. Maybe it's going to come up soon. I'll call you Karen because like TikTok, from teaching you will cancel. What? He's going to call me Karen. Well, my name is actually Miss Katie. My parents never called me Karen when I was younger, even though the name is on my birth certificate. But when I... um. Most people know that I'm bisexual, and and I, I and the reason I know that is because throughout my life I always had like little crushes on different people. And one time, at the skating rink in the winter, there was this 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 this. I think I was nine, and she was in. I don't know how old she was. Maybe she was in grade seven, a couple of years older than me. And she was skating. It was dark. We went under the stars. You know, and as kids, we'd walk to the skating rink at night. And she was there. And uh, her name was Karen and she had this short blonde hair and she would like do these circles and stuff. And I was like in awe of how, how, just how beautiful she looked. And so when I found out her name was Karen and then on my birth certificate, my name was also Karen. I changed my name and asked everyone to call me Karen when I switched from French school to English school. So yeah, that's what happened there. Um, but anyway, I am Miss Katie. And I hope that you call me Miss Katie if you want to. But if you don't, you know, I can make up a name for you too. All right, so let's keep going here. Oh yeah, so now what are we looking at? Okay, my eyes are half closed here, but let's see what I'm saying. What are the actual words on the screen? You know, I hate when they, <laughs> you know, you look so weird there. Anyway, okay, ethical vegans need protection under the law. Yes, because what they do at schools is um, they discriminate against people who are vegan. They are cruel to them at, at, in different jobs. People are cruel to vegans. It's called being vegan phobic. So yeah, good job to me. We need to be kind to vegan children. Can you imagine if he was ever around children who are vegan, how terrible he would make them feel? I'm not okay with it. I'm not okay with it, teacher Eddie. No, you gotta be nicer. All right. Um, oh, again, look what's on the screen. Friends, not food. One more point for me. Talking about being kind having empathy. Vegan phobia is wrong. We must call out vegan phobic behavior. Like teacher Ed, you know, teacher Eddie, he's vegan phobic. So another check mark for me, defending everyone. We must call out racist behavior. We must call out homophobic behavior. We must call out vegan phobic behavior. All right, let's keep going. You say you educate, now nah, you spread hate. Oh yeah? What is the hate that I've ever spread? You mean when I talk about what the animals feel towards people like you who hurt them? I don't think they love you. Me pointing out to you that you are an animal abuser is not hate. That's just the facts. So that's kind of a lie. So I'm going to give you an X for that. Don't lie, okay? All right, here's how we're doing so far. But don't worry, we still have time to catch up. I'm sure in the next half you're going to be teaching us a lot of facts, right? About how, how veganism is good for the environment and all that. All right, let's keep going. i never seen a vegan want so much beef. Never seen a vegan want so much beef. You keep going out your lane, creating beef. Let what? Yeah, I don't know what he's saying. Do you guys understand? Um, I, 
think I can press the J button and go back here. I can't wait. All right, so um, never seen a vegan want so much beef. Well, I don't want beef. In fact, I very rarely even eat vegan meats. I eat mostly whole foods. Um, let's just try and I think, I think he said something else back here. I don't know what he's saying. You say you educate, nah, you spread hate. Okay. I never seen a vegan want so much beef. You keep going out your lane, creating beef. Let's eat. Oh, keep going out of your lane. Oh, you want me to just stay in the lane and just only talk to vegans and get lots of likes on my YouTube channel, right? You're one of those? Yeah, no, that's not my style. Because if I'm only talking to vegans, then I'm not changing the world, right? My whole job here is to get the fuck out of my lane and go everywhere, all around the world, to spread the awareness about what the animals are going through. Just like if you were the victim, Teacher Ed. Okay, if you were suffering, if somebody was being cruel to you, you would love me right now. You, in fact, you would call me up and be like, mm, help, <laughs> because you know that I would defend you. Well, maybe not you personally, because you're, you're kind of not a nice guy, right? But I don't know, maybe inside you're a nice guy, I don't know. You know, that's the thing about cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance is what people go through, like teacher Ed, Eddie, because his, he, he thinks in his heart he's a good guy, and I know he does a lot of good things in his life. You know, just like, People like Hitler were not always assholes all the time. You know, if they saw a dog, they would pet the dog. They would, you know, be nice to children. But they're fucked up because they could do this terrible other thing. Just like Teacher Eddie. I mean, to do this terrible thing to animals and to say that he doesn't care. And that he's going to keep doing it. You know, it's strange. Anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you another X for that. There's Gordon, Mr. Beast, and Billy. Mr. Beast? Oh yeah, Mr. Beast, yes, yes, yeah, good job. You're saying, you're reminding everyone that I called him out because he also buys all these dead animals for people. He pays people to hurt them, these animals, and then he feeds them to people, and then he acts like he's a big hero because he gave free food out, but he gave out dead bodies. Would you feel the same way if he paid people to kill cats and gave out free food of cats? Would you feel the same way? I don't think so. So, good job for me calling out Mr. Beast. And uh, who was the, the other Irish, one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go back. Uh, you said somebody else, I think. Right. Hey, I never seen a vegan want so much beef. You keep going out your lane, creating beef. Let's see. There's Gordon. Miss oh, yeah. Gordon Ramsay. Yes. Thank you for reminding everybody about Gordon Ramsay. Chef Voldemort. He is really terrible. You saw the, you probably saw the diss track I made of him. Yeah, you got, everyone should watch that one. It has like over a half a million followers right now. Uh, not half, yeah, half, no. Yes, half a million. That's right. Over half a million uh, views right now. So that's me singing to him and telling him that he should stop hurting animals. You know, he, he's a chef. He should have the skills to be able to create all these wonderful vegan meals like many of the vegan chefs. Just Google vegan chefs you'll find incredible recipes that people have come up with that involve no cruelty. Now, Gordon Ramsay knows what happens, but he doesn't care either. In fact, he shoots animals himself. It's awful and promotes that people should do this when he has a choice. That's, that is like, that is as bad as somebody like Hitler who deliberately knows that they're going to hurt somebody and that it, it is a, a Holocaust that they are causing and just says, ah, you know, I, I don't care. And that's the problem with this world. We don't have enough people with empathy. So good job to me calling out Gordon Ramsay. Thanks for reminding everybody of that. Cat milk is for baby cats. Dog milk is for baby dogs. Human milk is for baby humans. And cow's milk is for Gordon Ramsay. What the fuck? How old is he? What a messed up dude. Mr. Beast and Billy. Yeah, Mr. Beast and Billy Eilish. Eilish, oh yeah. Yes, Billy Eilish. Now, what she does, you see, she says she's vegan, but at the same time, she rides horses. It was riding a horse that they had this bit in the mouth and that it's painful. And um, Billy Eilish knows that riding a horse isn't vegan, so she does it anyway. So that you know, she's not vegan if she does that. And she also uh, says things like, um, "Oh, I don't want to be like one of those vegans who tells everybody what to do." Okay, so Billie Eilish, if somebody was hurting you, how would you feel? 
if everyone was just like, well, no, let people do what they want, you know. They want to ride her without her consent. They want to touch her inappropriately. Oh, well, everyone should just mind their own business. That's what, you know, Teacher Eddie says. So, yeah, it's good that I called out Billie Eilish. And Billie Eilish should uh, speak out more on def in defense of animals. She, she has such a huge platform. And that's exactly why I... Uh, I targeted her because I wanted her to, to speak, uh, oh my god, sorry, I feel like I need some water or something on my, there's like a piece that's stuck in my head, my face, sorry, <laughs> oh my god, you know what, it's, it's like almost midnight here, it's like really late, I, I'm, I shouldn't be up right now, okay, anyway, let's continue, so what have we here now, what have we got, oh yeah, my shirt, the future is vegan, get ready, <gasps> yes, check mark for me, being positive about changing the future, Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, don't steal milk from a cow. Be vegan, start right now. Follow that vegan teacher, she will show you how. Ow, yeah, and there I was talking on my banana phone, the, the heaven hotline. That was the phone straight that I, to God, I have it somewhere around here too. Anytime I want to call up God, Jesus, I got the power. Jesus is vegan now and God is too. If you want to get to heaven, you better be vegan too. Fuck milk, cheese, eggs, or any kind of meat. Buy broccoli, tofu, and vegan food to eat. God wants us to be kind to the animals, or it's true. You risk getting roasted on the devil's barbecue. Somebody asked me one time, when are you going to die? They were pretty vegan phobic and mean, you know? So I asked God and God said, you ain't dying. You're one of the good ones. You're going to go to heaven even after. And I'm like, listen, I don't exactly believe in heaven, but hey, whatever you say. So yeah, good for me, good for me, you know, talking to uh, God and being open-minded about, about, uh, you know, checking my course of action. You know, I check in sometimes to, to be quiet and, and you know, meditate and think, okay, am I doing the right thing? You know, could I, should I, should I tone this down? Should I do more of that? And so, yeah, that was me. So yeah, good job for me. And we're still waiting for you, Teacher Eddie to do something. Show us some empathy. All teachers in the world should strive to be vegan cause teachers should understand that human abuse and animal abuse well both of these are wrong so let's share this song and stop feeding animals from now on yeah let's share Yeah, and you got in it with Tommy in it. Tommy in it, yes, Tommy in it. Tommy in it is a um, YouTuber who was on TikTok making these little jokes about saying, "Oh, I, I'm going to get a vegan girlfriend," and he had his button that I guess I don't know how you get this button, but when you have a hundred thousand subscribers, you get some sort of button, or I don't know if you have to buy it. Anyway, it's it's like a big YouTube thing. It's like silver or something. I don't know, it's probably plastic. I don't know. Anyway, he was holding his buttons and he said, he was talking about the, he's going to show the girls his buttons. <coughs> so I told him, like, if you want this, the girls to see your buttons, you're going to have to show them because you should get a vegan girlfriend. You, you, they're not really going to be impressed with your buttons. They're going to be much more impressed if you show them your fruits and your vegetables. So that's what I told Tommy in it. So good job to me because he has a mil millions of followers. And so I told him, you know, go out there, Tommy, and eat some fruits and vegetables and you will attract a lovely vegan girlfriend or boyf boyfriend, like, but he said girls, so I guess he's into girls. And the reason you wanna do that is because, you know, vegans make excellent mothers because they're so compassionate. They care beyond themselves, not just for their own children, but also for the other innocent sentient beings who are suffering. So yeah, that's great. Talking about his balls and pain when he was what? 16. You fucking hypocrite. What? Who's you wanted? What the hell? What? What kind of filthy mind do you have? That is real. No. Un X. That is gross. What's the matter with you? Take my kid. Now wait. Let me. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. I, I talked to He's talking about taking his kid because I said that um, if you're teaching your child to numb his. his his feelings, his innate feelings of compassion for animals, that, that that's, that's not right. You know, you need to, we need to teach children not to step on ants, um, not to kick cats and dogs, and not to 
eat animals, just to be kind to all sentient beings. So yeah, I said if you're gonna if you're gonna keep teaching your kid to block out his his natural tendency to want to protect animals, yeah, you shouldn't be a dad. That's true. I said that. Oh, and that of course gives me a nice check mark because you know pre protecting the innocent is important. So what else are we doing here? All right, it says. Oh yes, I'm saying happy vegan declaration day to all new vegans. That's great, that's positivity, that gets a check mark. What else have I got there? It takes 100 clicks until you're vegan. Yes, it takes 100 clicks. It, the message has to get into your head, it has to get into your heart. You have to understand the facts, you have to understand what actually goes on, you have to be willing to look at the important documentaries, like I mentioned, Dominion Movement, Earthlings, Cowspiracy, Sea spiracy. There's a whole bunch of others. If you want to look about, um, excuse me. If you want to look up vegan athletes, you can go to the Game Changers. If you want to see how the pharmaceutical industries manipulate doctors, you can go to another one called What the Health. Okay, so What the Health, like as in What the Hell, and Cowspiracy, as in like conspiracy. So and Sea spiracy, same thing. So memorize those and uh, encourage uh, Teacher Eddie to watch these. I mean, I. I don't know. The problem is, you know, now he's got his back up. He's, he's very combative. And so chances are he probably uh, won't be ready to change for quite a while. But, you know, that doesn't mean all of you can't change. You know, you don't have to, if you, there's, you have a teacher in your life that you don't like, just find another teacher. So yeah, I'm talking about it takes 100 clicks into a vegan. That is something that I came up with. It's sort of a slogan. It's a, it's a, it's a song that I wrote. I wrote, write lots of songs. So, what is it saying here? Remember to celebrate your dog's vegan declaration day as well. <laughs> yes, exactly. Look at that. So somebody, that was a nice vegans, um, vegan who wrote that. And absolutely, you know, my dog, Bella, she's been vegan since August 2017. And she's perfectly healthy. You know, her fur is great. Um, her pee is normal. Her poo is normal. Her blood work is normal. And she's just a normal dog. And she's coming up to be seven, we think, because we adopted her. And so, yeah, good job. Good job. Remember to celebrate your dog's vegan declaration day, too. So thank you to, uh, to Eddie for reminding me of all this great stuff I did. And look at that. I also wrote, I believe in you. Yeah, because I do believe in you guys who have an open heart and an open mind. Good job to me for that, too. Now, Eddie, where's all your compliments? Where are you, when are you going to talk about in your song about... Um, I think I might as well take this thing out. I think it's kind of not even working anymore. There we go. Um, when are you going to start talking about how uh, we can protect the environment by being vegan? When are you going to ta start talking about how all children are born vegan? And you also were born vegan, by the way. So, you know, you can become vegan from now on, but the truth is that you were already born vegan. When you came out of your mom, you never wanted to hurt animals. Yeah. It was your nature to be kind to them. And then your parents started feeding you these dead bodies and you had no idea what you were doing. You had no idea what was going into you. And now you're just waking up to it. Not, not uh, Teacher Eddie, because he's maybe this much of a psychopath. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's just very cold at the moment. But you know, sometimes it could be just an act. You'd be like, oh, I'm so tough. Look at me, I'm so tough. And then maybe he's a big mushy guy who's gonna go on his bed at night and cry and be like, oh fuck, that vegan teacher's right. Maybe I should be vegan. Plus it would be really good for his health, you know. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, no, it's no secret, it's obvious that he, he has too much weight on him that is not healthy at all. His cholesterol probably is high, he needs to bring that down, blood pressure down. You know, I worked as a nurse for 25 years and you know, there's no reason for him to not eat a healthy vegan diet full of whole foods, don't eat processed foods, don't add salt, sugar to things. And uh, anyway, that's a whole other subject. So let's keep going here. You call people racist when you use racial slurs? I use racial slurs. You mean because I mentioned the word nigger just before? Because somebody called me that? Is that what it means to use a, a racial slur? I don't think so. See, my understanding about it of it is that if you use a word towards somebody, you call them a bad name. That's using a slur. But mentioning it in your vocabulary, there's nothing wrong with that. That's like saying Webster's Dictionary is racist because they have the word nigger in it. Does that make sense? No, right? Okay. So let's give you an X for that. Trying to imply that I'm racist, that's just silly. Gay people are selfish when they come out? 
Okay, so let's clarify that one. So as you know, I am bisexual. And uh, when I came out, which was, I don't even remember, it was sort of a gradual thing, it was not a big deal. Nothing happened, zero, nobody cared. It was just like, okay, whatever. And that was many years ago. Um, and also, uh, when anybody comes out, I have said that everybody should come out of the closet, uh, any LGBTQ should come out of the closet. Uh, because it does encourage other people to come out as well. I've said that many times, it, it shows courage. But the reality is, when you're initially coming out, you're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for your neighbor. You're doing it for yourself because you want to find sexual partners and you want to be, you know, live your life without feeling like you're hiding something. But that is for you. That's not for somebody else, not initially. Should you come out of the closet? Yes. Same as everyone should come out of the closet as a vegan animal rights activist. You should all step forward and say who you are and be proud and show your face on social social media. And so, yeah, good job to me for reminding people that we should not be selfish. Okay, did we clear that up? Do you need that explained a little bit more? Okay, so being an animal rights activist is not selfish because it's about others. We're here speaking about the defenseless who have no voice. Never in the history of the world has there been a group of people who have defended those who cannot defend themselves to the degree that vegan animal rights activists are here. You know, that when there were people that were defending the black people, let's say, or the LGBTQ community in the past, they were defending a group who was already able to speak out and defend themselves. The animals are speaking loud and clear. You're just not listening. They are screaming and crying. They are being murdered, watching their friends being murdered in front of them. But we build these giant fortresses they're these Auschwitz-like Holocaust places where their voices cannot be heard through the walls. Dark places where they are tortured. I'm not okay with it. And Teacher Eddie, you shouldn't be okay with it either. Because you know what happens in this world if we don't speak out? If good people don't speak out, there will be nobody left to speak out when they come after you. Or your kids in future generations. Or your neighbors. The world falls apart when good people don't speak out, when there's an injustice. And what you're doing right now is just basically trying to attack me, it looks like. I'm still waiting for you to teach anything at all. All right, so let's see what we have on the slide here. What the heck is in my hand there? Anyway, um, yeah, so what does it say here? Um, Okay, go to earthlings.com. Good job, Miss Katie. Remind people to go to earthlings.com, yeah. And that again, look at that. Reminding people that, that you know, sheep, lambs, animals are friends, not food. Good for me. And oat milk, promoting plant-based nutrition, which is healthier for us as well. Yay. Good job, Miss Katie. <laughs> Looking pretty serious there. Okay, let's see. I'll just play this here for a sec. Because I have a feeling that this, uh, this oat milk used to change to... Okay, here we the only selfishness comes out your mouth. Okay, selfishness comes out my mouth. Oh, there's the rice milk. Yay. Rice milk. Good. Selfishness comes out of my mouth. Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk. Don't steal milk from a cow. Be vegan, start right now. Follow that vegan teacher. She will show you how. What did I ever say that was selfish? Oh, you're about to say it? Okay. Mouth. I offered to debate. What, what was the selfishness that comes out of my mouth? You mean in the part where I stand up for the baby chicks who are born and blended at one day old? That, that's me being selfish, talking about me? Because it seems to me that I'm talking about the billions of innocent baby birds who are slaughtered. So that's you lying. Don't lie. X. Teacher Eddie, what's up? You only have one check mark here. Come on, you can do better. That would stay on the screen. Happy Vegan Pride Day. Yes, positivity. Come out as an animal defender. That's what it means to be vegan. Check mark for me. Don't let anyone bully you. Don't let anyone bully you. Animal defenders, I know you're out there. Kids, when people try to bully you at school, that is called vegan phobia. Name it, teach the word. Talk to people about it. Say, don't be vegan phobic. 
Okay, you make sure your principals know the word and the teachers know the word because right now they don't. I can almost guarantee you they don't know what it is. All of your classmates, they need to learn the word vegan phobic. What it means is it means to specifically target and be mean to animal rights activists. That means when you have kids who wave a piece of bacon in your face or a piece of salami in your face, that's being vegan phobic. Okay, we don't tolerate that. So good job for me who's saying don't let anyone bully you. Check mark. Being vegan means being the change you want to see in the world. So share the dish so be better. Oh, I just want to say something. By the way, this brings back so many memories. You see that sweater I'm wearing? Well, on TikTok, when you film yourself, it's automatically, at, at the first step, the camera is, is reversed. So that's why you see people a lot on TikTok and their shirts are backwards. So you have to go out of your way to press this button every time. So what I did instead is I took this um, sweater and I pa painted that vegan teacher on it backwards. So when you're looking at this sweater, which I have in my closet right now, it's actually painted backwards. If I'm walking down the street, the writing's backwards. But it was really, excuse me, just for TikTok. So thanks for all of these great reminders. You know, I'm going to give you a check mark for this. Teacher Eddie, you got a check mark for taking me down memory lane and reminding me that I did a really good job there on TikTok. Yeah. The hey, but you a coward. I'm a coward. Coward. How am I a coward? Have you seen my comment section, by the way? Have you seen how much vegan phobia is there? Did you know about all the death threats that I've, uh, I've had here? You think I'm a coward? You know who I think is a coward? And who are cowards? Are people who come to my home and throw dead animals over my fence. And my 81-year-old mother-in-law is sitting in the backyard and getting things thrown at her. Yeah, I think those people are cowards. Yeah. You know who else I think are cowards? People who come to my home, jump my front gate, and pound on my door in the middle of the night and say, fuck you, vegan teacher, just because I'm here saving animals. I think those people are cowards. Yeah. So let's give you an X for that, because I don't think I'm a coward. I would have moved by now. The police know, by the way, everything that's going on, and we have cameras all around our house now, and, you know, every once in a while somebody wants to try and come and meet me and say hi, but unfortunately I can't trust anybody anymore. So I am definitely here because of the animals, and I'm not going to stop until every cage is empty. You're not getting rid of me. All right, what do we have here? Oh, yes, again, look at this. So I've got my ukulele out. I'm singing Happy Vegan Declaration Day. Good job to me. Check mark for being positive and for reminding people that the day that they come out of the, the closet as a vegan animal defender is their Happy Vegan Declaration Day and they should be proud of it and write it down and put a note on the fridge because you forget because it kind of creeps up on you. You know, you become vegan just gradually. Happy Vegan, Happy Vegan, Happy So, what else we have? Friends Not Food again. There she is, talking about being kind to the animals. Yeah, chickens. Chickens are not food, they're animals. Pigs are not food, they're animals. Turkeys? Turkeys are not food, they're animals. Cats? Cats are not food, they're animals. Dogs? Okay, lambs? Ducks, they're not food, they're animals. And I wrote here, born this way, right? Just like members of the LGBTQ community are born, they already know what their, their sexual identity is, at least it appears to be that way. Um, I know I was born bisexual, like I said, I used to have crushes on somebody, in, you know, a girl in kindergarten, a boy in, in grade uh, four, and then somebody else later on, a girl, so back and forth, you know, there's little crushes, like I always, I always just liked people and as I you know grew older I, I realized that that there was a, a, an attraction towards them and I just happened to end up married in a monogamous relationship but that doesn't change the fact that by nature I'm bisexual right it just means that I believe in monogamy because I think uh, that having a strong 
relationship is good. And that doesn't mean actually that I necessarily believe in monogamy. If you want to have you know, a relationship with a third person or whatever you want to work out, that's fine. You know, you're mature adults as long as everyone is consenting. That's totally up to you guys. So born this way. Vegans are born this way and that's a good thing. So I'm, I'm reminding everybody that you should be your authentic self. You won't step, you know what's coming. Speaking of, you could probably use some coming. Feel that. You know what's coming? You could probably use some coming. You think I need an orgasm? What does this have to do with veganism? X. What a bizarre thing to say. That vegan donut, but I. Vegan donut. Oh, you're talking about my vagina? Are you trying to you're trying to be like really disgusting right now? Weird. But by the way, vegan donuts are good. They taste delicious. They just like taste like any other donut. Gordon Ramsay called me a vegan donut and I took it as a as a um, as a compliment, you know, because vegan vegan donuts are sweet and everyone wants a piece of them. So hey, that's me. All right, so let, what, what's going on on the screen here now? Vegan because I give a shit. Oh, I'm selfish. Check mark for me. Born this way. Again, reminding people to be their authentic selves that you're born vegan. Everyone is born vegan. Even you, Teacher Eddie. Even your son. Yeah, help him return. Okay, breast milk is vegan because it belongs to you. It's not stolen. And what else here? Vegan phobia behavior has no place on this app. Good. Defending those who are being victimized. Being an ethical animal defender is at the core of who they are. Yeah. Good. Oh, and look, I even have right LBGTQIA right there. Yay. Nice one. Nice touch. Good job, Miss Katie. Uh-oh. Teacher Eddie. Running out of time here. All right, let's try this again. I ain't offering. You ain't offering. Wait, are, are we still talking about sex? You ain't offering? Okay, thank God for that. Vegans okay. are healthy. Um, but you know what? That has nothing to do with class. So I'm going to give you an X for kind of being rude. Yeah, it's sort of gross. Yeah. Oh, Alex O'Connor. Yes, I promoted his work. Good job, Miss Katie. Alex O'Connor, he's an amazing guy. You can find him on YouTube under the name Cosmic Skeptic. He is a smart guy. You know, he talked about philosophy, he studied religion, and he became an atheist, and he became a vegan animal defender. And look at that again. Friends not food, friends not food. Check mark, check mark. Oh yeah, that was a great, what, you guys should all follow Alex O'Connor. I agree but you look like skeletal. Okay, now he has his ads coming up. I look like a skeleton. Ooh, why would you say that? I have a skeleton, but do I really look like a skeleton? I don't know. I don't think skeletons have hair, so liar. Don't look like a skeleton. <laughs> maybe I'm maybe I'm sort of thin, but you know, I just have naturally small bones, see? And of course I eat properly. I try very hard not to overeat because I just don't think it's right. We shouldn't be taking more than we, than we need. All right, well, I think that's it. Is that really it? Wow. Is there something else going on? What's going on here at the end? Oh, there he has me again. Being vegan is uh, not a choice. Yes, that was also a very good one. I was speaking about the animals. I was speaking about defending them. So thank you for showing uh, that and reminding me of that. That was another great one. What else do we have? Anything else? Yeah. Look at that. Let's read this, actually. This is kind of interesting. So, um, by Miss Katie, that vegan teacher. So, being vegan is not a choice. Being a kind-hearted, compassionate animal defender is not a choice. Vegans are born vegan. They are born as kind and caring humans. They can't just wake up one day and become uncaring assholes. Right? When you're born as a nice person, you don't just wake up and say, no, I'm going to be a fucking asshole. It just doesn't work. Because of this, just like being racist or homophobia or homophobic is wrong, to be vegan phobic is also prejudice. Right? Perfect logic. Check mark for that vegan teacher, Miss Katie. 
Okay, a vegan phobic is someone who makes fun of, harms, or prevents animal defenders from being their authentic selves, which is what you're doing in this video. So you get an X for that. Um, yeah, you're being vegan. You're being vegan phobic for sure. And uh, I said that you're. I'm reminding people again that you're born this way. So yeah, I mean, it's just. What can I say? Oh, poor guy. Well, you know, we're all in the school of life. Unfortunately, teacher Eddie, he fails. That's too bad. But you know, you can always try again, teacher Eddie. Try to get a, a better score next time if you want. Um, this time you didn't do so great. You didn't talk about saving the animals. Um, let's see if I can show you a couple of, of things here. So especially to remind you that, that kids need to be told the truth about what happens with the animals. Okay, now there's ways to teach children without showing them graphically, but at a young age, we need to teach them to not be speciesist, to not step on animals, to not purposely ever hurt animals, and to be really aware of, the, of how they're born, that they never wanted to hurt them. I mean, I have a, a granddaughter. She's not yet two, and she just loves dogs. She loves anim all animals. I mean, look at kids with their stuffed animals. You know, their toys, right? They all just love them by nature. So tell kids the truth about what happens that we, we don't, you, you know, you, you have your family, you can say, our family will not bring any dead products into this house. We will be vegan from now on. That's what you could do, and you can explain to them why. Because, um, yeah, speciesism, remember, is the first form of racism, the purest form. If we teach kids at a young age to be kind, to be caring, to have empathy and compassion, there won't be any racism. Right? Yeah, it's true. So teacher Eddie, I'm really sorry to tell you, but unfortunately you failed this assignment. I'm gonna see if I can sit back here so you can see that properly there. Um, oh yeah, the green screen doesn't like that. So, but anyway, there you go. So you can, you know, try again. Next time I'd like to see a lot more check marks. I wanna hear you talking about the animals, all of the different animals and show pro proof that you've studied, that you've done your homework. And uh, to everybody who's following Teacher Eddie, I encourage you guys at least to go ahead and, and look at those documentaries yourselves. So thanks again. And coming up on the screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Please go ahead and click on them if you, if you like. And um, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. This is, by the way, that video that's called don'twatch.org, which is it's very sad. And um, I encourage you all to, to know what's going on in, in this industry. It, it's it's full of very sad things that, oh, that, that happen to the chickens. You can find out the baby, the little baby chicks here, how they are ground up a uh, day one of being uh, born just because they're boys and they'll never be able to lay eggs. I mean, when I saw this for the first time, I fell on the floor crying so hard because I just couldn't believe that I was paying for eggs. I ate them every day and, and the whole industry is like that everywhere not right so thank you again everybody who's here thank you for subscribing to this channel thank you again for 100,000 followers and I will see you guys all in the next video go, go ahead and click on what's coming up on screen while I tidy up for 20 seconds I think that's how long it runs for okay I'll count with you guys one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, that's it. Bye, everyone.